this. Three, two, one. Oh. Hi, teacher. Hello. You came early three minutes. <clears throat> I'm gonna put my mustache on. Hello. Hello. Hello Good morning. <laughs> you keep been using mustache like that's so weird. Teacher, look at who is open his camera. Good morning. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, teacher, I am making movement that uh I. Put Post it on Facebook, but uh, I think that project is beyond. Yes. That I um, talk. Teacher, teacher, look at me. Oh, oh nice. Wait, where's my cell? Teacher, teacher. Teacher. I present to you the most greatest game. Wow. Hey, wow, that's really cool. Wow, fun! In this game, you can long. tickle the balls. Okay. T-shirt, I, I, I updated this game. Oh, right. Yeah, Um, I know. Let me try here. It's like a new update that like you can also teleport to end, but it's just yeah. like never ending, but there's an end, but like 100 million miles away. Nice. I feel like I'm touching my... Oh All my right, God. welcome, welcome. Um, <laughs> probably wait a few uh, minutes let me, here. Let can let someone tell me why my thing is... It's just a square. Error. Mm -hmm. Teacher, are, you, uh, are we using the doors in Ohio? Yep. Same project as last week. Um, okay. Okay. I think I need to start jumping. everything new, teacher. All right. Um, let me see here. Look at home. Hello. Yeah, if you weren't here last week, it shouldn't be much to get you caught up. You're so cool. Oh. <laughs> but why are you doing this? No, what you are you doing? How did you put the pencil into your nose? Uh, the eternal actually, mystery. Actually, don't do it because um, someone put an eraser in someone's nose, and and that guy is kind of dead. <laughs> is really that that funny? It's oh, not right. that funny, but it's dangerous, of course. Yeah, what you do is um, you just have the pencil in the back of your breathe, hand and just you have the pencil breathe go in, down. Yeah, you can breathe an eraser. What? Eraser? Yeah, because, like, um... What schools um, don't give you homework? Uh, kindergarten school. That's yeah, right. preschool. Because, you know, they don't give you homework and, and you can just play all day, like, not all day. No, you know that Ohio school is up. All right, we'll, we'll wait here a few minutes here. Um,
to give everyone a chance to jump in. While we wait, um, what are some things you would like to add to a shooter game called Doors in Ohio? Um, Gun! Gun! Yes. <laughs> That's probably the main thing we need to add. Yay, guns. I love guns. I want to add RPG. Yeah. And I want a tank. Tank? Yeah. Hey, that's a <laughs> one that would be tough, but not like too tough. I want it to be easy tank. With glasses. Being with glasses. Yeah. I'll be able to customize your character, yeah. Also, Teacher, have uh, you seen my work? In my, have you in seen my, my work? In no. the broken project, I designed my character, but it's gone. Hmm. I can disappear into the camera and then just reappear back again. Because hmm. I, set, I set my work to like 50-50, so the platform is really big. Ah. That's why it won't fall. Oh. Yeah, um, as of right Ohio? now, we actually can't fall. But after today, we should be able to fall off. Can we, like, roll around? I want to roll around. Oh, hmm. That would be oh. interesting. Probably be like, yeah, you know what? We'll try to do that at some point. Um, could be it could be a cool a cool way to introduce animation, of um, basically just like animating your actual character doing a rotation, and then being able to like click a button to roll forward. Doors in Ohio. Teacher, what are we learning today? Today we're going to be learning how to um, jump, how to have the camera follow you, which is a very easy one. Um, Teacher, I don't gravity. really like first person. Yeah. One thing you can do then is just take the camera and move it a bit behind the character. You don't need to put the camera in the character. Just like move it I like you. I like first person when you can... Move your screen around and look around. Oh, yeah. Looking around is another big one we're going to do maybe tomorrow. If you have time, we might do it today, but probably tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow. Next week. My bad. Teacher, um, when I go off the map, I don't fall. I just floating and keep walking around. They don't have physics. Yes, when that's what we're gonna add through, today. I just walk through a block. In fact, Teacher, let's can go I ahead. get a re oh never mind. Let's go ahead now and hello magic. Let's go ahead and begin. It's five minutes after 8:30. If you um if you're not five minutes afterwards, you are late. That's my rule. <laughs> Have very little leeway. All right. Let's go ahead here um, in project. Um, if everyone goes ahead yeah, and open. Yeah, I think I am floating. Teacher, Snap, I yeah. think I am floating. Yeah, right now, if you walk off, you're actually be floating because we have no loading on the character. Ah. So if you open up Unity Hub, you should see. Um, your project down Unity here. Hub. Uh, my is Doris in Ohio. Click on that to open it. Um, if you are new, you might want to make a new project. Just name it whatever you want. Create project. All right, and then let me have it open here. And here's the project so far. Um, it is just a. Oh, let me see. The speed to be faster. It's so slow. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yes. I, I can't be here that. right there. Yeah. Yeah, I, have a, I have a problem because uh, my my stupid Windows 11 laptop wouldn't recognize my headphones. 
as headphones. They recognize that speaker. I'm going to mute for oh. now until. All right. All right. Well, we'll why go ahead did wait you a little bit for, say uh... your laptop or something is stupid? It's just, it's not a lie. Why would you call it stupid? Oh, it can be not alive and stupid at the same time. It can be not alive and very smart, too. I've had some dumb, dumb laptops. Not alive and stupid and smart. All right. So here are the project so far. You should be able to just click play, and you have a little bean that will move around quite slowly. It's um, so slow. I changed today. my to 10 or 5, actually. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I forgot. All How right. do we make it faster? It's so slow. I will actually show you in just a second. Um, it's extremely fast. First of all, let's just look at what, what we have. We have one big platform. We have a little bean. Um, and the bean has a movement script attached to it and a character controller component. Um, let me... Um, in case you don't know, to add character controller, you just click add component, type in like control, and then click character controller, and then you have the character controller component, and that lets you easily kind of move the character around. Um, Is this a review? Yeah, just a review. Um, let's see, put him back, I believe he is. He's the only thing. All right, let's look at our movement script now. Let me share oh, the screen. Oh. Does someone know your mom, Facebook? Here is the current movement script. I will um, paste I it in chat in case anyone needs it. This is still a review, right? Yes. Um, and let's just go over each line real quick. We have int speed equals, equals one. This is what controls how fast we're going. Int speed equals one. So if you want to make oh, it faster, oh. make that 10. That's one part that's not reviewed. Go ahead and make your int speed equals one. Change that one to a 10. And make sure when you change it, hit save with um, command S on Mac or control S I'm on it Windows. I'm changing it to 15. Feature, uh, it's uh, 15. Feature. Yep. It might be to ask, but uh, how to add a script in your ball or something. All right. Yes. Um, I will show that. Yeah. You I go... changed it. Nice. You click on the bean and then scroll down to add a component. Then just type in the name you want the script to be. So like movement, M-O-V-E-M-E-N-T. Then click new script, then click create and add. Now you have a new script added to the capsule. Uh, Poon, yep. I see you saying oh, I double click on movements if I remember. Yes, yeah, so to open the script, yeah. Oh, that's what you meant, In okay. Microsoft Visual Studio. Visual Studio. All right, let me- Um, I'm stuck. Oh, wait, no, wait, wrong one. You can't do it. Um, what was that, pumpkin? Um, what's up? It doesn't show the thing next to the thingy. The, um, the speed or the character controller? No, oh, I meant, uh, like, in the one where you're supposed to put something in. It doesn't show up, the inspector thingy. Oh, um, go ahead and click the actual character, like click the little um, bean, and then it should show up. Oh, okay, thank you. Welcome. All right, a um, couple other lines here. We have character controller. Um, as you see here, unlike in JavaScript, C Sharp needs what's called a type. So instead of saying like var or let, you have to actually put like, okay, what is this variable going to be? Int means a number, int uh, means the variable is going to be a number. And here we mean 
the variable is going to be a character controller and we have named it control a character controller being the component in unity called character controller then we have a move is a vector three literally mean xyz here we just get the character controller from unity i get component character controller here this little complicated line what we do is we create a new vector three uh, and again a vector three is basically three numbers x y and z um it just means okay go in this direction go this direction in the x this direction in the y so up and this direction in the z so forward and back Teacher, so, yep Punis, they're calling you oh um uh poon you should not be able to jump yet because we have not added that I'm stuck again. All right. Um, yeah, let me go again. Uh, what are you trying to do right now? Are you trying to add the movement script or the character controller? Here, I can't. Oh, when I click movement, what am I supposed to do next? Oh, yeah. What if you have the actual script if you see here? You should see a big hashtag on the bottom left that says movement, and then you can double click that. And then it I should. I clicked it and it says select an app to open this SC file. Right. Uh, what are the apps it says to, what are the options to give? Give. Uh, Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Lustre 2020, Adobe Photoshop 2022, Firefox, MPC HC, Microsoft Notepad. VLC media player, All video right. pad, video editor, Windows anything media that says, player, legacy. Any, anything that says monospace or visual studio or like VS code? I don't see anything. All right. Um, in that case, you might need to go ahead and download visual studio. Here, let me. All right. Yes, in chat oh. here. I have the link for um, Visual Studio Code, and then you can download that, and then you'll be able to open it. And for now, you can just watch along, and then I'll paste the code at some point. All right. And so let me go back to the code real quick, because we're not going to begin adding code, because these four lines here, they're all movement. This says where to move. This does weird stuff. Don't worry about it. This is how fast you move, and this moves you. So um, let's go ahead. Let me, um, OK. We're going to need four new variables um, to make jumping. First of all, go all the way up to the top here with int speed, a couple new lines. And we are going to be coding now, so everyone get on Visual Studio. And the first one will be, um, oh, okay. Int jump, J-U-M-P equals five semicolon. Int jump equals five. Jump is going to be basically how high you jump. Int jump equals five. Then we'll do int gravity, G-R-A-V-I-T-Y, gravity, equals 10, semicolon. Um, did I say 10? Yeah, 10. These two variables are what's called static variables, which means they're variables that are not meant to ever be changed in the code, just, just like used. Um, we're just gonna say, hey, multiply this by jump or something. Um, and then later on our own, we can like change jump to be higher if we want to have a higher jump or gravity to be lower if we want lower gravity. Okay, couple new lines. We need two more things. These are called dynamic variables. They're going to be changed in the I code. I think I did it. Good job. We do um, bool, B-O-O-L. That means Boolean or true or false. Um, we've used it before. It just means if you're going to type in 
B O O L, and then we do ground. Anything to the four. You need to check if you're on the ground. G R O U N D equals, and then T R U E semicolon. Bull ground equals true. We've done this line of code a lot in um, one of our projects. Apun, yeah. Um, JavaScript is pretty much like the only language that um, allows you to have a variable that doesn't specify type. Um, pretty much every other language you have to do like int or bool or whatever. All right, new line, final thing here. It's gonna be a vector three, that's capital V, then E, C, T, O, R, then three, vector three. Um, fourth, F, O, R, C, E, and we're not gonna define it, just gonna put a semicolon. It's not gonna have any starting value. Well, fourth, teacher, where's the video for how to download video, Visual Studio to make this? Uh, um, I believe I put the link somewhere in chat. Um, that in was this Visual class, Studio. I have learned. Uh, I make the I use the Visual Studio that you say is use uh, like fifteen dollars or something. But oh, yeah. uh, I don't know how to change that. Uh, how do I download it? Like, uh -huh. I search um, Visual Studio in Google and. Yes. Um, one thing is to type in in Google or use the link in chat, Visual Studio Code. Um, you need to add that code at the end. Oh, thank you very much. Good. Uh... And then you should have the free version. Yeah, I don't know what the, I think it, the paid version is more for I like have to companies. Send it to my computer. It should take a long time. All right, um, and it's okay if you don't get all by the end of class. I have recordings. I'm recording, right? Um, here, let me stop share for one moment. Let me make sure I'm recording. I am. Okay. Yes, you are. All right. Oh. Sorry. Uh, I. I resorted into just pulling the plug out of the okay. damn headset. So oh. what what happened? Um Teacher. we have added four Teacher. lines of code into the movement script. That's it. Yep. Yeah. I'll quickly boot up Visual Studio code. And you have code the right. code. Right. Code. Yes. So don't wait for me. Don't wait for me. Don't have All right. Um so was talking earlier. Me. Yep. What's up? It said time left again. Oh, um, all right, so we have five minutes. Okay, so I'll just keep going for a bit longer, and then um, in about five minutes, I'll have to, like, close, and I ever have to rejoin. It's annoying, but it's uh, unfortunately true. Okay. It's free. Teacher. Teacher, teacher. Free will... Yep. Teacher, I will, I will be the first to rejoin. All right. <laughs> and put to point that that's correct. What do you mean? All right. So let's go ahead and continue writing. Teacher, you have before the line. Oh, so she. Um, okay. So let's go ahead. Um, sure, is this uh, things that will come up when I download the Visual Studio? Yeah. yeah, I haven't used Windows, so I can't be sure, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. That, that looks correct. <laughs> All right, so let's make a couple so new lines. there's nothing new else, just waiting for the download? Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. download for like uh, two weeks ago. Mm. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll make a couple of new lines after the code in the update function here, right after control.move. And let's write if um, left parenthesis. Um, input input 
capital I N P U T input. Um, where the input? Okay, dot. This is a tough one. Get button down. Um, that's capital. Uh, each word here begins with a capital letter is get G E T button B U T T O N down D O W N input dot get button down. Every one of those words starts with a capital letter. Luckily, it is very um, self explanatory. Um, it's saying, okay, are you pressing this button? So input dot get button down, then we do left parenthesis, quotation marks, and jump with capital J, and then UMP jump. Then at the end here, left curly brace, enter. And we have our if statement of what to do when the, the player presses like space or something. Two minutes left. Ah, uh, yes. Teacher. Yep. Two minutes left. All right. Uh, actually, this is probably That's good. That's literally what here. I said. <laughs> um. Thank you, everyone. Um. Here is that if statement. I'll wait about one minute, and then I will do a little reset. Let everyone catch up. Can you say three, two, one? All right, um, you know, let's just go ahead and do it now. I'm open this port a bit before three, two, one. All right, so on three, I will close it and everyone can, um, you'll be kicked out, everyone can join back up again. Oh wait, can you, merge, can you merge the recording? Like, yes, I can. Recording yeah. two things, yeah, okay. Yeah, three, two, one, or okay, one, two, three. Okay, the end. Wait, the no, I'm the first. Hello, hello. No, I'm the, hello. I'm the first. No, I'm the first. I'm first. How I'm is that first. possible? I'm first. I'm first. I would say I first saw this. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm for everyone, as long as you came near the same time, for all of you, you would look like you're the first. I'm first. I'm first. I'm first. I'm first. I'm first, I'm first. I'm first. I'm first. I'm first. I'm first because I have these cool glasses. For everyone. I'm first because I have cool glasses. I love cool glasses. Because I love cool teachers, so let's do it now and I just got in. <laughs> yeah. I, I know, had no chance to get in first. I'm first. I left and then when I saw technically it, technically teachers the first. I said, okay, then I just entered when the whole thing um left, so... It was just loading, and then I came here, and all of you guys were here. <laughs> Check the I came first. The first. It was you the time machine. Time actually, the actually, the teacher's the first. No. This teacher has the link, so he's yes. actually the first. The recording yep. will always show me arriving at the exact same time as everyone else. So. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I will edit in that was first. Where I would like it. All right, we got a couple more people. Basically, everyone's here ready. This is CS. The desktop me is Among Us. You know, um, one day we might do like modding. I want to tell you something. That you yes. just got Rick Roll. Ah, shoot. I'm going to give you, huh? <laughs> Teacher, uh, is there something do it's more than this circle? I'm not going to get um, Rick Roll. Let me see there. It's movement and uh, stuff. Oh, yeah. If you have the movement, more the, movement the character controller. Character. Yep, that's good. Mm -hmm. And then you just have code to put in movement script. Um, oh, the pumpkin things. looks good. Yep. In Unity, all the code, all the stuff is very simple. Things. Yep, oh, only the coding now. Just go ahead and open up movement script whenever you have the uh, okay, thing downloaded. Okay, I'll just wait for 
What is Poon saying? That's I believe. <laughs> I believe everyone's back now. Let me. Poon saying Sussy Baka. Teacher, can, can can you teach me uh, how to do the thing that you put the picture in the capsule? Yeah, um, I'll teach that at the end of class. Um, stay near the end and I'll show you how to do it. I did also, it. I actually did it. I did it. Studio. Uh, what do I do? Like open file? Or do not um, open yeah, If you have Visual Studio thing. downloaded, you should be able to oh. go to Unity and like double click the movement script oh. to open it. Teacher. The Teacher, I, I put a texture on the bean, a prototype. Nice. Did you see that piece of fifteen dollars? Oh, hi, bean. Now, hmm. everybody, shoot, it looks correct. Um, okay, here. Susie, but the, oh my, oh no, he just wrote among us. Teacher, you just keep showing the fifteen dollars Microsoft Visual Studio. All right, I am so sorry. I thought it was the right one. It looked correct. Um, oh, hmm. Okay. Uh, I should so do go ahead and delete that one. I um, close it. Yeah, I, I am very sorry. Um, is it possible for you to get a link from chat? Or is there somewhere I could like send you the link? Yes, I clicked the link in chat. Uh, but, really? Uh, wait, wait, no. Uh, I think I clicked the fifteen dollars Visual Studio first, and I just delete it, and and then it come back again. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it might I, be I that you have it downloaded correctly, but um, it, it's still trying to open the old one. Um, yeah, go ahead and close Visual Studio. Um, I feel like I'm, like I'm in a live stream. Close. Okay. X. Yes. yes. Exit. But it's not live stream oh. chat. Be like. Okay. Now don't open it just yet. Um. um really oh yeah, let's not spam chat Ohio. too much here. I just spammed Ohio yeah. so much. This is okay. like live stream. Those chats where people just keep spamming. I'm getting stuff. so. Okay. So, um, put it board. Here's what I need need you to do. Um, go near the top of, like, go all the way to the top. You should see a button that says Unity, like, on the, um, full bar area. Um. Like, at the top? very top left. Very top left uh, in the white part. You should see a left. button that says Unity. Unity. Do you see any buttons for Unity? Any preferences? Any preferences? What? I need to do something. How to open preferences in Windows. Okay, click the gear. Uh, open start. If it button that says start. Start. Or maybe like a uh, gear icon. <laughs> All right. Hmm. All right, I don't know my way around Windows very much, so I'm going to have to help you in a little bit. I'm going to continue coding for a bit. Um, and then uh, near the end, I have to show you. Because basically what we're going to be trying to do is to change your preferences to open the correct Visual Studio. Um, but I don't know how to do it in Windows yet, so I'm going to have to like go look it up. So I, I do, I do. Can, can I help him? Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay, so how do I? Um. Oh my God! They removed the ability to share your whole screen. Yeah. Oh whatever. Oh, there I'm on my brother. Whatever. Uh, so you just go. Teach your twins. Yep. Hold on, coding. Can you teach me how to 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 delete the delete the duty object if you don't want to use it? Is that possible? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, um, it is. 
you click on it and then click um are you on windows or mac so got like pc so or mac here. look up i'm on mac all right is um command like click on the object then click command delete it studio oh no oh. um put your on um that's a different um command download visual studio um a command and then delete come oh yeah put the board i'll help you um in a bit um probably more near the end of class okay um and unfortunately i don't know my way around windows very well all right so let's go ahead i'm going to go back real quick to um the code so we have um, if input or get button down jump. And let's go ahead and add what to do when you click jump. What to do would be type this inside the curly braces of the if statement. It would be force, F O R C E, force dot Y. Remember, um, Y is the up and down direction for force dot Y. And then. Plus equals jump, semicolon. Mm -hmm. So now, well, force dot y would normally be like zero. We're gonna go ahead and just jump up. This will not work right now, to be clear. Um, we're just, we're not actually making a jump. We're setting force to be able to jump. Can I share screen? Um, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Um, I can't really see um, nothing. I would suggest not deleting anything just right now. Um, yeah, but let me pause. <laughs> what? Uh, can you move at all? What? Can you move at all? No, I can't move. Hmm. Damn. Um, the... Could you? Okay, on the right side, scroll down. Scroll down. Oh, um, okay. Now click on the uh, on the very left side. See that um, where it says capsule on the very left? Capsule. So. Yeah, the on the very left. The last word there, right below cube, it's capsule. The, the way you left? Actually, um, go ahead and click on the player. Click on that pink bean. Click on the actual player. Okay. Um, uh, you haven't clicked on it, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Now scroll down uh, the right side. Sure, can we jump yet? Can we jump yet? We cannot. Um, go home. Go ahead and click add a component. Yeah, okay, I there, put there colors on my now, character. type in um, C-O-N-T-R-O-L. E-R-O-L. And there we go. Um, click on character controller, and now it should work. Teachers, this visual studio. Oh yeah, um, that looks correct. Yeah, let me. Um, yeah, that's it. Good job. Um, okay. you're funny, Can you you're... copy link in chat? Oh no, my chat is uh, five hundred sixty four. Yes. Oh wait. Okay. Who are spamming? Uh, stop spamming. Uh, Co Quinn. Um, Co looks good. Good job. It's very making me lag. All right. Um, let me go ahead and go back to the code. Go ahead and paste it in oh, chat for I, now. Can you help me now? Oh, is that working? Um, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, I'm sure. May click on it and then like use the um like uh, arrow keys. Wait, wait, uh, this one? Oh no, like, go, go to the game. Are you, you know, go, go ahead. On, 
Um, Cajon, go ahead and uh, share your code for the Visual Studio code. Okay. Cool. Yeah, let me see. Uh, share the code screen. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here. There. Uh, it looks good. All right. Um, home. Okay, I see the problem. Um, it looks like you have an if statement kind of like outside the code. Um, outside the code? Yeah, like, yeah you, that like if statement, you have written it outside of the update part. Um, here, go oh, ahead. How would you, okay, you're going to have to like, so, um, yeah. Here, Kahoma, I'm going to uh, watch my code and then do what I do, okay? I'm going to like recreate your code and then you're going to do what I do. So pay close attention here because um, your code is kind of like this. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I'm all over the place. All right, go home. Here is your code. Oh, I will, I'll help you in a moment. Um, go okay. ahead, you're going to need to select that if statement, copy it, command C, then delete it, then make a couple new lines inside, right after control.move, inside the right curly brace, then control command V. Teacher, can yep. you copy the code, please? Yes. Uh, go home after you, you do that. You're going to have a right curly brace right below your fourth. Delete that. Then write a new one after the fourth. And then write another curly brace at the very end right here because I believe you're missing one. And if you need to, I have a I'll paste the code in chat here. And then you can like reference it. Ooh, All right, yeah. and win-win, um, uh, what is up? I am the spam master. I think it will No, I'm the spam master because I love spamming in class. It automatically Close the computer and my mouse Ooh. broke. What should be how much? Um, hmm. Teacher, can it jump yet? Can uh, the wait, wait, I have the code in chat if you need to like it, paste it into your file. Um, teacher, can it move? Can it like jump yet? It cannot. I mean, in fact, let me go ahead and okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and show the rest of the code and then I'll do um, debugging because we're getting a little late here. Uh, it didn't, it didn't work. All right, Cajon, I'll go ahead and help you um, after class in a little bit. Um, yeah. Because right, I would like to get um, the code shown at least. Um, so a couple things we should do here. Um, we have force dot y plus equals jump. Now we're gonna do a new line and type new line after the if statement, by the way, and type fourth dot y minus equals gravity, the variable from up above gravity, and then times star that's shift eight. I haven't added this bit of code, but the so now uh, I have a Superman beam. He can fly. Yes. I like it that way. Can I just, just not add that part? <laughs> um, I like it that way. If you want, you can comment it out afterwards, but it's good to have it just in case. The yeah, first out y mod equals gravity times, and then what we're multiplying by is going to be capital T time dot delta D E L T A and then another capital T time T I M E. Semicolon. Teacher, what's delta? 
What's Delta? Uh, delta, um, Delta in a general sense is like, basically in mathematics, Delta means the difference between. So in this case, time dot Delta time um, is a unity variable that means how long has passed between one frame and another. Because um, we have this on update and Unity does weird stuff in terms of frames. Like not all frames are gonna be called at the same time. So it's important to do time dot down to time. That way, if the frames get messed up, um, you're still like minusing by gravity to a correct amount. For example, if your computer decided to run like 20 frames and like, a tiny oh. amount of time, you wouldn't just like fly down to the bottom of the earth. You would fly down at a normal speed. So that's why wow. time dot delta time is a important thing. Basically, whenever you're like doing movement stuff, time dot delta time. Time. All right. If it's ever not working, it multiply by time dot delta time. All right. And finally, new line, and we'll do control dot capital M move, just like up here for uh, moving. Control dot move, left parenthesis, fourth, this variable right here, fourth, times time dot delta time. Semicolon at the very end. And again, we're multiplying it by time dot delta time. I'm just spam clicking my computer right now. And now, um, I'm actually not oh, sure wait. if this work, works right now, so I'm going to, because there's actually what? a few more lines we have to do to make it work properly. Right now, it's it might work, but it won't work well. Tisha, wait. All right. Wow. Thank you, teacher. I'm done. Welcome. Teacher, um, can you uh can it dump yet? Um good question. Let me see you. I'm gonna save it that command S. Um and I'm gonna see if it can jump because it should be able to jump very well right now. Um oh. On. But let's go ahead and test it out. So I can move it and can I jump? I cannot jump yet. There's, there's no input for jump. I realized that. I looked through the code. No input. Oh, yeah. Um, Unity already says what jump is. It should be spacebar. You should be able to click spacebar and it will jump. It will not work yet. And I will actually, I can show you why. Um, in fact, one thing is that can, we, can, can you please stop chair, please? Uh, right. in a minute, please. All right. Um, I can't even move. All Teacher. right. Um, it seems that from the right side, I think you've saved your code. Wait, teacher, you code like this? Yeah, I think you need to go back to your code in VS Code and then click like Command S. Command S, let me see, uh, Command S. Command. Teacher, I can't click the play button and play because teacher, there's yes, something yes. wrong. All right. Oh, um, the compiler errors. You can yeah. look at the bar below with the red. Can you copy and paste? Yes. such as um, missing a semi there's no or red line there's yeah. no red line but there's a problem okay i'm going no, to do debugging like after i show the code so i'm going to finish showing the code because i've got like it 10 minutes left to do that uh, so i'm going to debug and then after class i can help uh, it for now uh, 
command S or command F? S, like snake S. or a C. Uh, save. save. Like, save. I don't have a command. Or like, like save. I don't have like a command or something. Oh, control then. Control S. Oh. On window, there's control on that. Teacher, I clicked play, but it didn't somehow didn't play. All right, um, I'll help you out in about 10 minutes. Teacher, um, are you on Windows? I'm on Mac. Teacher, oh. I still can't do it. Teacher, can I share my screen? Um, I I'm going to do debugging in a bit. Um, so go ahead, everyone, just continue writing the code for now, um, and then I'll debug. Debugging. That way I can do it all in one go. Okay, debugging, debugging, debugging. Otherwise, I'm not going to get it done in time. Um, so a couple things. When do we end class, teacher? Um, in about 12 minutes. Okay. 12? Only 12? Yes. Um, don't you dare say that. All right, so. Why? It's only 12. I want to learn more. No. Yeah, um, there's going to be time for questions and debugging after class. Um, I'll be there for like another teacher. 30 minutes to help you out. Teacher, I wish we can learn Unity every day. Like, learn with you. Thank you. Okay, like, um, um, I would like to love you every day, but I don't have time. I need to learn yeah. everything. Can you say mine real quick? Yeah. Because uh, if it not work, I, I, I cannot put my coat. Um, yeah, Kahoma, I'm going to help you um, just after so her class. Do and I, I'll, 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 I'll be there. Yeah. I'll debug your code. Okay. No. All right, so. Um, Ever, let's go ahead and make a couple of new lines. Um, right after the curly brace after update, so a couple of new lines near the beginning here. Um, still within the update function. Um, and the first one will be. Trying. All right, will be ground, G-R-O-U-N-D, equals, and then control, C-O-N-T-R-O-L, control, dot, that capital I, no, dot is, and then capital G, grounded. That is I-S, grounded, Capital G, then R O U N D E D is grounded, semicolon at the end. So, unlike before, where we had to actually say whether or not you're on the ground, control has it covered. Control is grounded. Um, it is like a function in a way, um, it is a more like kept track of variable. Um, it will change between whether or not um, the player is on the ground or not, and it will do that all on, on its own. And then we said ground equal to whatever that Boolean is. Can I get that code? Uh, yeah, I can. All right, and then a new line. Because we're almost, almost at the finish line here. It would be if left parenthesis, ground, so if we're on the ground, and then we do two and ampersands, and and. So if we're on the ground, and fourth dot y less than sign zero. Then we'll do left um, curly brace at the end, enter. The reason why we do this is to ask, okay, down here, right, we say um, my view is gravity. So we know fourth dot y, every frame is going down by 10. So very quickly, it's going to be in the negative. So if it's less than zero, we don't want it to go into oblivion. Um, instead, we want to say fourth dot y equals negative one. That's a minus, then a one, semicolon. Save. You don't wait, wait. It's good. I have a uh, code right up here. Oh. 
I will explain more of this in a second, um, but for now, let me just show you what happens. Okay, can you teacher, I'm done. All right. Can yep. you copy? Can you copy the whole code? Yeah. Copy I think I have more, but can I get all the code? Can you copy 28 to 29? All right, I have a uh, code. Actually, I have the whole code in chat if you want to just like it. Grab it, but I can also do the piece. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Tisha. Yep. Um, is this all the code? There is one little thing I need to do. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and just do it right now. Um, while we're here, it's in the if statement with um input get button down. Um, one thing we want to do is say, okay, I don't want you to be able to just keep clicking plus or space and just fly up. Uh, put your own might want that, but if you don't want that, go ahead right after the right parenthesis, the first one, the yellow one of jump, two ampersands, and then ground. The variable ground just says only be able to jump if you're on the ground. Uh, why, is and my, save. why is my force dot y offset? Uh, force dot y. Um, do you mean in? In the code, in the code, it's all false. Oh, what, what that? Oh, never mind. Tap, tap, tap. It's for some reason offset. Uh, what do you what do you mean by offset? Uh, I press tap and it didn't align like yours did. Uh -huh. Oh right. Wait. Um. Yeah, um, one thing could just be that I have like a different tabbing than yours. Um, one easy way would just be like to delete the tab and then re-put the tab then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nine minutes left, people. Oh yeah, that's okay. All right, mm. so um, we have this bit of code here. I'm gonna re-put the code in chat Is it like because I... Oh, never mind. It's, it's completely normal. And yeah, everyone, make sure to add that little um double ampersand ground after the jump. Start it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and um, I will show you what it should look like, hopefully. Let me. Uh, there we go. I'm on. Okay, now I can move around. And if I jump, I jump up a little bit. How do I run? What? Teacher! It's hey, it. I run it. Teacher, please let me run the screen. Please. All right. Um, Teacher, okay. I have a problem. It says. Yeah, I think like, you one up like. All, all compiler, compiler errors, have to, errors have to be fixed yeah, before yeah, yeah. you can enter yeah, that one. All right. So I'll go ahead now and um, people have eight minutes left. I'll say this is um, to anyone who got it. Um, I can't move. All right. All right. Um, so to anyone who's able to do it, um, good job. And this is now officially the end of class. I'm going Teacher. to leave the Zoom. Teacher. It's going to only have uh, like a limit here. I'm going to leave the Zoom Teacher. and come back and everyone can like join Teacher, back. Can you stuff to do. Yep. My teacher, can you please copy the code first? Yes. All the code. Uh, wait, teacher. Is the character that uh have a jump uh need to be that castle? Uh, say one more time. Uh, is is the character can only be capsule? Um, it doesn't have to be. Um, in fact, it, it can actually be any shape. Yeah. It can be whatever you want. Uh, but but because uh because the bean has has uh has a shape that looks most like 
it's the sh shape with the most similarity to a human being, it should yeah. be a bean. Um, but honestly, if you want, you can make it like a collection of shapes or a big triangle, whatever you want. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I will, um, everyone's gonna be kicked out. If you have questions, if you have anything you want to add, if you have anything um, you need debugging, um, I will be on I there. Have so. Peter, right. I have a problem, wait. All right, so, so if, I, if you have a problem, um, just, you're gonna be kicked out, join back on. If you have a problem, just join back on to the Zoom. I will right. be first. All right. So I'll be three, first. Bye. Two, one.